Uh, somebody called in yeah. about somebody posting uh, things on TikTok about <laughs> East Indians defecating on the beach. It was a big shock to me to open my door to see the officer asking me to come out and then stepping in and having a whole conversation about what I'm posting on social media, which is harming nobody. I want people to know because it is a biohazard. It's the safety and well-being of the kids and the visitors that want to go use the beach. I'm just telling everybody what I know to be true and a lot of people are speaking up about it now. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Wasaga Beach, Ontario. And folks, we're back at Wasaga Beach doing a follow-up story on our video from last week. I believe it's our most viewed video of the year. It is about the grotesque and unsanitary behavior of certain people, namely turning the world's longest freshwater beach into a toilet by defecating and burying diapers in the sand. And I am with Natty. She is the one that tipped us off, tipped off the world, if you will, to this horrible practice. She went on TikTok and uh, opined about this behavior. Let's throw to an excerpt of that right now in case you missed it. I've had to yell at people for shitting on the borderline property line of my backyard. And yes, it was Indian families. So that's not false. You can check my town's page where they say there are Indian people pooping on our beach because there is, they're digging holes and they're pooping and putting tents up because they don't want to go to the washrooms. Wow, so Natty, a sordid state of affairs indeed. Uh, you've been receiving tons of response, but the real crux of the matter as far as we're concerned is that once we got in touch with you a couple of days ago, you said after the video was published and went viral, you got a visit by law enforcement? Natty, why in the world did the Ontario Provincial Police pay you a house call based on something you posted on social media? Um, well, when they came to my door, um, the officer had said, I'm here because we have received a phone call about the TikToks you've made and saying that I was um, harassing East Indians, which wasn't the case. Uh, somebody called in yeah. about somebody posting uh, things on TikTok about East Indians defecating on the beach. I told them like, it is my right to speak on things that I have seen and that I can say are factual. And he agreed with me. Which I'm entitled to speak on that. It's I'm, on Simcoe.com. I'm not, no, this, this, this is, yeah. I'm not, I'm not. Um, I wasn't being racist. No. My daughter's Indian. Yeah. My baby father's Indian. I lived with his family. It wasn't any, I wasn't threatening anyone. I agree. Nothing like that. I agree. I agree. And then I went on to ask him, like, have you even watched my TikToks? And he said, no. What's your username? If you see my TikTok, I was on, like, the radio show. I spoke on my what experiences. It's good. Natty Lynn 2.0. Natty. Natty Lynn 2.0. And I just thought, like, how can they even come to my house and say, what you're doing is wrong or you're not allowed to do it, if they don't even have any idea what I posted about? I personally have not had any calls for this type of behavior on the beach. Yeah. Um, and from what my understanding, it's actually... Actually, these these actual incidents yeah. happened some time ago. No, it was... it's been recently. So, Nettie, as you said, uh, a nice guy, probably just following orders, as the saying goes. But who in the world? would complain about something allegedly offensive on social media. I mean, there must be millions of videos, literally, that offend somebody. And what police department would pick this up as a priority? I mean, is there no crime in Wasaka Beach right now? That's what I was thinking. Um, I had no idea why an OPP officer was at my door. I was under the impression that I'm allowed to post anything that I know to be factual and relaying stories that I know to be true and what I've gone through. So it was a big shock to me to open my door to see the officer asking me to come out and then stepping in and having a whole conversation about what I'm posting on social media, which is harming nobody. I'm just telling everybody what I know to be true. And a lot of people are speaking up about it now because they're not afraid to come forward. What do you make of the mayor of Wasaga Beach 
saying that this is misinformation? I feel like he spoke too soon. Um, I had nobody reach out to me. I had no one contact me to say, hey, um, for one, do you have any proof? Or can you let us know what you've seen and what you know? I feel like the mayor should have said, hmm, maybe we have something that could be a risk to the public that we should look into instead of just jumping the gun and saying, oh, it's not happening. I know it's not without even looking into it at all. We know from X by law, we know from um, an Ontario Parks bylaw officer that we interviewed when we came up here last week that this is happening. Okay, have you heard about this problem happening? Yes, I have. It's not as though Wasega Beach is denying people washroom facilities. There's public washrooms all over the beach. I mean, what kind of entitlement, what kind of laziness would lead to some people defecating on a beach? And I know from our Indian source, Ted Smith, I mean, he verifies that this is happening. He speaks of uh, so many beaches in India that are basically desecrated this way. This is Canada. This infrastructure exists. I see no excuse whatsoever to tolerate this. At most beaches, there's accessible washrooms, especially here, there, you, like you said, there's so many bathrooms that are accessible from any point you make camp at the beach. I think it's just a matter of, the, like you said, it's the laziness. Um, they don't wanna go use the facilities and they'd rather do what they want to do instead of worrying about what, every, what is good for everybody else. And I'm sorry if there's a certain class of offenders getting a, um, upset about their bad behavior it's more than bad it's grotesque behavior being called out well that's on them it's not on you for blowing the whistle yeah that's how i felt i don't know how to explain it um once i posted the videos um my main concern is especially being a single mother i want to go enjoy the beach especially as being a local it's something free it's something my kids should be able to enjoy but that's a biohazard and after seeing what i have seen go on at that beach, I am so hesitant to even go get my ice cream I want to get from there. So mm -hmm. it's not just I'm scared to offend people. It's I want people to know because it is a biohazard. It's the safety and well-being of the kids and the visitors that want to go use the beach. You know, it's not really fair to anybody at this point. And I know you sent me a, a photo. It, it's hard to make out, but describe what we're looking at in this photo, Natty. Um, that is a group of people sitting on the beach um, and a bit behind them is a tent. They're not sitting close to the tent. It's off in the distance a bit. Once they packed that up, um, my friend had walked and took a picture of it and you can see that the ground is ruffled with. She said that in person you can see that they were filling in the hole. The usual suspects are saying, oh, this is racist and even uh, accusing you of uh, being a racist. It's kind of amusing in a perverse sort of way. <laughs> you are indigenous, correct? I'm native myself. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm not a colonizer and all this. I'm like, uh, my people were first here. I'm, I, I'm not racist in any type of way. <laughs> Natty, at the end of the day, what are you hoping to accomplish by calling out this odious behavior, at least by some people, going to Wasaika Beach? Um, I'm hoping that people have the courage to stand up and if you see something, say something because it's not just that one person that day. It's like there's power in numbers. So when you have a big group of people with the same idea in mind where we want this to stop, we don't want it to happen anymore, our beaches will become clean. This is happening all across Canada. I have learned from my TikTok comments and my end goal here is just we have to stop letting people get away with things because we're nervous about how they feel at some point we have to put the the main priority first which is the safety and well-being of everyone using the beach folks i know you love it when rebel news brings you the other side of the story but the fact remains we need your help unlike the mainstream media we don't get a nickel's worth of funding from the federal government nor would we accept it if offered so please, if you can, go to rebelfieldreports.com. That's rebelfieldreports.com. And if you're able to, kindly make a donation.